Hi, I'm John G. This is the Giggle Box, and today I have a very important question. What do you want for Christmas? All you kids watching right now, what do you want for Christmas? To the parents, <laughs> to the adults who are watching, what do you want to get your kids for Christmas? What is it that they want more than anything this year? Do you know? Have you gotten it already? Every year, there's something. There's one toy that every kid wants to have. For some reason, it just turns into this one item that is, for some reason... Just so awesome that you have to have it. What is that one thing this year that every kid wants to have? Well, I've heard some things. But before we get into that, what are some of the things in the past that kids have really wanted? What are some toys that were just so awesome kids had to have them or maybe you as an adult had to have them you know i mean i'm not gonna lie i love toys obviously <laughs> so yes there's sometimes things that i would love to have too you know it's like that movie jingle all the way <laughs> with arnold schwarzenegger and jake lloyd was like little anakin skywalker at the time and he played his son and he's like i really want the turbo man doll and he's like, why? <laughs> Isn't there something else that's cooler? No, this one's awesome. He's got like the super jet pack and he can fly. <laughs> and he says, it's turbo time or something. And any kid who doesn't have one is going to be a loser. <laughs> Do you remember that? Have you seen this movie? It's one of my favorite Christmas movies to watch every year. And my kids love it. And we get a good laugh out of it. There's some pretty funny parts in it. But it's just, I mean, total nonsense. And it takes like the whole holiday shopping idea way over the top just like in that movie there's always one item that every kid wants to have every year there's something that just needs to be obtained <laughs> so before i get into this year's hot item i wanted to take a look back at some of the past hot items <laughs> you remember this this came out a few years ago. The date on this is 2010. Okay, so this came out like six years ago. And I remember there were a ton of these for Christmas. And then it like went on into uh, February. And they had some for Valentine's Day. And then they had some for uh, July 4th. And then I think Halloween. And then by the next Christmas, these things were forgotten, I think. So he mostly does like little notes and stuff, but if you press his hand, and then he'll change to make weird noises. And if you press his hand again, he sings you a song. <laughs> this was a good purchase. He always brings us joy. Every Christmas. And then we have the little green alien from Toy Story. This was actually something I really wanted. Because <laughs> he's very fun. So yeah, this little green alien is one of my favorite toys ever. <laughs> cool. 
So those are a couple of toys that I really enjoy. And now there's one last item <laughs> that at first I wasn't even going to get it because there was so much hype over this thing. And then when I saw it in the store, I was like, what, really? No, I didn't want to. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then my grandmother ended up getting it for my kids. I don't know. It's not something that has brought that much joy repeatedly over the years since we've had it. Now it just kind of honestly sits in the corner. And I had to dust it off to show you. <laughs> Tickle Me Elmo came out in 2005. You remember this thing? How many of you still have one? Does it work? <laughs> I mean, that's 11 years ago. I remember back then, for some reason, there were stories all over the news. This was the hot item. Everyone needed it. People were <laughs> punching each other in the store trying to get this thing. All right, so this is Tickle Me Elmo. This was the hot item. This was the hot item for 2005. Everybody wanted this thing. Now this year, <laughs> there is one. <laughs> there is one item that, for some reason. <sighs> Everybody wants this thing. And to me, it's almost right up there with Tickle Me Elmo. You already know what it is because you read the title of this video. Now, is it really that awesome? Do you need one? Or if you've already got it, do you want to keep it? <laughs> or do you want to hurry and sell it on eBay for like $170 to $200, I think? I've even heard that on Amazon it goes for $300. $300. It actually retails at $50. It's called a Hatchimal. And I've got to say, when I first heard about these things, I thought it was massive. I thought it was going to be like as tall as Tickle Me Elmo. It's not. It's tiny. In comparison to Elmo, it's very tiny. Do I really need one? No. This isn't even mine. <laughs> My good friend John let me borrow his because he got this for his daughter for her birthday about a month ago. And she opened it. It comes in like an egg. And once she got it out of there and played with it, after about three days, she lost interest. It starts off in an egg. And you have to like rub the egg. And then you wait for it to crack and come out <laughs> not that kind of egg so it's in an egg some kind of styrofoam or cardboard egg and you rub the egg like a lamp and eventually it pecks at it and then it cracks the shell and you can rip the shell open and then it comes out and what do you do with the egg you throw it away the egg is never heard from again but now you've got this little creature this Hatchimal. And then you play with it, which is what we're going to do right now. Hi. Oh, yeah, its eyes change colors. That's okay. We've got a. Okay, sit there. All right, this is basically what it does. After it's hatched, it roams around like this, and it goes through stages. Now, I've got a little cheat sheet here that tells me what the color of its eyes mean because the eyes constantly change colors. So you need to know what the colors of his eyes mean so you know how to take care of it. Okay, what color are your eyes? Purple. Okay. Cheat sheet. Purple means it's hungry. Now, if it's hungry, as far as I know, you have to tip it over so it can eat. Hmm. 
Hear that? <laughs> it's eating right now. Oh, are you full? Then you tip it back up. Yeah. You full? Do you have a stomach ache? Oh, okay. He feels better now. Oh, it's green. It's it's sick. When it turns green, it feels sick. What should I do? Rub the bottom. Okay. Rubbing its bottom makes it feel better. Did you, like, fart on me? What are you doing? Okay. Purple again? Oh, it's sick again. It sure does get sick a lot. If it's red, it's annoyed. If it's orange, it needs to burp. If it's flashing orange, it has the hiccups. If it's yellow, that's autonomous and I should interact with it. Where are you going? Yeah, get back over here. Come here. Come here. There you go. If it's green, it's sick. Now you have to play with this thing. Rub its tummy, rub its bottom, tap it on the head, squeeze its belly. You got to do all that stuff, like, constantly. And be playing with it constantly because it's going to evolve. It, like, can, it goes from an infant stage up to a full-grown adult stage. But it takes time, and to do that, you've got to play with it, rub it, do all the stuff that it wants. And then... Once you train it for long enough, it can do all kinds of things like mow your lawn, do your laundry, cook you dinner. <laughs> you probably need a flat surface to play with this too, so don't like play with it on the carpet because it's got the rolling wheels underneath. It needs something to roll along and then... Uh, if you put it on the carpet, it's probably just going to get tangled up in its gears, and then he won't go anywhere. And then before you know it, he's sitting in the corner of your bedroom, getting dusty. Another thing it can do is, if you hold its tummy down, you can tell it things. No, don't be sick again. Hello? Please stop. You feel better now? If you hold its tummy down, it will repeat things. How's it going? <laughs> and that is probably by far the coolest feature of this thing. Are you feeling sick? Are you feeling sick? <laughs> yeah. yeah? You sure do get sick a lot. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> that is the Hatchimal, this year's hottest toy. Yeah. Do you want one? <laughs> if so, you better hurry out and go get one because they are very hard to come by. Like I said, you can get one off Amazon or eBay, upwards of $300. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if 
you liked it, <laughs> like it. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Are you sick again? Yeah. Go over there. Go over there. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh.